representing Lithuania, Julius Machka. So the dog, dog uh, fight, 100, 100 kilos division, or is it over? First fight over the ring, the blue corner is Julius Moka from Lithuania. Normally heavyweight is 95 plus or 91 plus. Kilograms, that is. Customer, you correct 91 plus is the weight division. Total fights, as you can see, 45. 42 of them are victorious, and 28 of them are coming by the way of knockout. Impressive fight record. Absolutely impressive. Entering the ring is his opponent, Estonian guy, Ardo Rakasel. Hopefully he knows what he's doing. <laughs> yes. His fight rate is not that impressive, but maybe he is. Waiting in the ring was uh, Julius Moka. He's, uh, he's fighting out of uh, Sparta gym. Uh, at uh, Vilnius, Lithuania. And from what I know, that uh, he has more than 10 years of experience in this fight game. His coach is Andrius Sipalia, also a uh, Lithuanian. Oh, very nice entrance by Ardo Rakasel. Coming in as a Spartan warrior. Is it his son, maybe? I have no idea, but it's very cool. Looks focused. Ardo Rakasel in a red corner, representing Team Moiser for the first time, I think. He used to fight uh, out of uh, current club in Lasnava, right? So far, yes away from the ring for a while but this is usual fighters uh, change their teams or teams maybe very often three rounds three times three this plus a possible extra round it's held in the way division 91 plus kilograms It is fighting out of Blue Corner, holding professional record of 45 fights. Of these 42 wins, 28 with KO and three losses. Latvian kickboxing champion of 2012, WAK 15 Baltic Championship champion in 2013, the World Cup of Kickboxing WAKO third place in 2013, and the WAK 1F World Cup third place 2013, representing Sparta Gym. Fighting out of Lithuania, Julius Machko! And now, introducing his opponent. Fighting out of Red Corner, holding professional record of 14 fights, 10 wins, Four losses, representing T. 
Team Moisar. Fighting out of Estonia, Ardo Rokoselga. Impressive list of titles for the Lithuan Lithuanian fighters. What was it, like four or five different titles from Europe and Baltic states? So definitely has a experience advantage over the Estonian fighter in the red corner. So here, here we go, uh, first round of the heavyweight fight and uh, fourth fight of this evening. Ardo Rakasel in the blue, in the red corner, sorry, with uh, green gloves. I don't know why they are making that so confusing, the color of the gloves and uh, Julius Smoka from Lithuania in the blue corner. More shape looks uh, Estonian fighter. Julius has black gloves. So, the, uh, so here we go. First heavyweight though, explosion. Started off with a low kick there. Ah, yeah. Nice Muay Thai technique, sweep. Like uh, the Tuanian fighter is using the distance. Estonian fighter trying to close the cap, but uh, not uh, doing anything inside. Wow. Second swipe already from the Lithuanian fighter. So far you can see that the experience is definitely working for the Lithuanian yeah. guy. Nice shot to the body there by the Lithuanian fighter. Work, work, works his uh, first leg with the low kick. So Looks like the Estonian fighter is a little bit ring rusty as they say. I, uh, we don't couldn't know. say it better, couldn't say it better. He doesn't have the feeling inside. Let's hope it gets better with each round. Wow. Nice middle nice, kick. Uh, nice shot. Hurting him. That was felt to the back of the stadium. The Lithuanian fighter is playing with the rules and that the was first a knee strike. Knee strike to the body that uh, took uh, Ardo a little bit. A little bit down. Hope he can uh, recover from that. To the ribs, he went to the knee strike. He should back down now. Try to rest a little bit. Wow, can you see? You can see yeah. the, the spot on Argo's body from the kicks from the Lithuanian fighter. Yeah, that like. was the middle kick. Okay, Ardo's trying with a nice hook. Okay. Ardo should uh, back down a little bit right now. Try to get back his breathing. Try to get through his first round. Yeah, that uh, liver shot was a really strong one. Looks like Ardo has no uh, answer for uh, Lithuanian fighters' game. So far, it's all going to the, the Lithuanian uh, way to the blue corner. He has too much more experience. Uh, by the way, it looks from the side of the ring here. But this is fight sport. Expect the unexpected. Hopefully from Ardo's side. Ten seconds left to the first round. Let's hope that Ardo can hold on to the end of the round. And, and he relax can, uh, a little bit. And he can bring something uh, yeah. stronger to the second. Recover and come back with a new game plan. But uh, by the looks of what we just saw, the Estonian fighter is does not have an answer to the Lithuanian Now fighter. we can see where this knee strike came from, maybe. First if swipes. The cameraman can show it to us. Second swipe. Actually, that was more like a kick to the lower back of the leg. Back side of the leg. Yeah, Ardo is much more was much more slower as well than the Lithuanian fighter. Even though the 
By the looks of it, the uh, Lithuanian fighter has more uh, kilograms on it than uh, the Estonian fighter from the red corner. Hardo is a bit rusty. Rusty and I think experience comes as well into play with this fight. You can see that uh, the Lithuanian fighter feels much more comfortable in, uh, in, in, uh, in his state of mind. Seems uh, he's been fighting all along, no breaks. And second round of the, of the fight. First one was totally dominated by uh, the Lithuanian fighter. Let's hope that Ardo has an answer uh, for the Lithuanian fighter. He should use his strong shots, punches. Yeah, I think Ardo should uh, jab more and fi uh, find his range and start should start connecting with his uh, with his cross. Uh, good, good fast combination from him. So far, we haven't seen any. The Lithuanian fighter looks very calm. Exactly, very comfortable in this ring. And Ardo, you can see from Ardo's eyes that he's a little bit confused. Trying to duck there, but... He's not answering any, any shots that... Now he tries, now he tried, but didn't land. Ardo is trying to find his position in the fight. Nice inner low kick from Julius Moka. So Those will hurt tomorrow. This will. But not much, as much maybe the body shot that looks red on his Ardo's ribs. Yeah, these shots can do a lot of damage to the ribs as well. I, pers I personally have broken my ribs like that in the training. And, you know, I tell you, Andres, it's from not experience. You're speaking from a, experience. It's not a nice feeling, yeah. <laughs> Trying to get a backspin with the leg. You can see the, the Lithuanian fighter. You can see that the Lithuanians are really enjoying trying yeah, different beautiful very, techniques. Very loose and uh, very very flexible, yeah. Is it maybe even doing this for a crowd a little bit show off? Uh, why, uh, why not? If you're feeling comfortable, you should do it. You should do that. Yeah, should if you're you prize fighter, you might as well do it. Should show uh, what you can do, what you what you have trained in the gym for. And people love uh, amazing shots or kicks, like back spins or uh, punches with jumps or you name it. Trying again with the swipe, but Argo was a little bit smarter this time, more balanced out. It shows that the Lithuanian is letting Ardo back into this fight. Not pressuring that much. Ardo should take really this opportunity now and put some pressure in. Not soon when uh, Ardo's uh, leg will, uh, will start falling uh, from those kicks, from the punishment he's taking in. He the should, first leg. Yeah, the first leg. You should try to uh, block uh, those leg kicks. I know it's uh, much more harder said, said than done, but we are commentators. This is our uh, job for the night. Give our input about uh, our privilege yeah, to sit in the see. comfortable seat and speak. Would like to listen now uh, what uh, the Estonian fighters corner is telling him uh, how she because now it's uh, they have we have one round left so first tragedy could be only one KO first two rounds were definitely for the Lithuanian fighter yeah so don't if know what Mirko is saying in there over the corner if it's not KO it's not okay depends on to who <laughs> you were speaking about the red corner and Mirko's. Mirko's okay. words, so so this is that this is, is KO only. This is correct. Andrews. Also, if he can uh, land a good shot and uh, make a technical, eight, make an eight count in this fight, then he could be also back in the game. And yes, and we could go on extra, yeah. maybe. Yeah. 
but I don't. I think uh, Ador lost the second round. Yeah, I don't see that coming uh, from from this fight. Like we said, fight sport, expect the unexpected. Come on, Ardo. Land, okay, land audience, one, land good shot. Okay. Hearing from the crowd that he should use a right overhand. That's probably a good idea. Lithuanian fighter tried to do the backspin with his leg again, but he's too close for that kick. I haven't really seen that Ardo is trying nice right overhand, right hook, right cross, whatever. His backside is still on hold. A lot of people are giving advice to Ardo here uh, from the crowd and from the corner as well. But looks to me like that Ardo is not listening that well. Uh, it seems that he's just finding to hang on. Looks to me that way, that way as well. High kick from the Lithuanian fighter. And Lithuania is showing what he has on his arsenal and yeah. that is rich. Lithuanian fighters should be well rested because uh, it is very uh, ha hard uh, to throw a high kick, especially at the end of the fight. It takes a lot of energy from you. It looks to me like he's throwing them very easily. I think it has something to do with uh, how re he relaxed he feels. He doesn't spend nervousness, any energy. Yeah, and that's already the, the fight record that we mentioned before. Like uh, less, less than a minute to go. The Lithuanian fighter has uh, more than 45 fights, and the Estonian fighter has around 10 fights. So you can you can see the professional difference in their level. But the crowd is cheering for Ardo. Go Ardo, are they saying? Looks like the tank is empty on Ardo. Lithuanian just keeps coming on and on, playing. I think those body shots did their work. What do you think, Andrus? Those body shots definitely, and the unexperiences of Ardo at the moment. He really doesn't have the feeling inside the ring. Try the backspin there. I don't know if that's allowed in K1. Well, we didn't see any stoppage from the referee, so, so it was allowed. Okay. And, and I think 3-0. Three three. End of the third round of the fight. Now we will hear uh, what the judges have to say about this decision. But uh, as we, we could see ourselves, there is not much surprise in that fight. There wasn't any surprise in that fight. You should go the Lithuanian way, yeah. yeah the Lithuanian fighter was much more uh, well rounded than was the uh, aggressor and the chaser in this fight. So, the second Baltic battle, the Baltic battle in a sense of uh, Estonia versus Lithuania. The first one went to our corner, second one doesn't seem to end this way. Doesn't seem to be in our favor, yeah, Andrus. To the announcer, Mr. Mark Sander. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The decision was unanimous, and the winner is fighting out of blue corner, Julius Machko!